Hello and welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now and in this today's session I'm gonna take you through uh, Apollo server and GraphQL and we are going to use a normal uh, CRUD operation using uh, MongoDB. So without wasting any time let's deep dive into it. So I'm gonna create a new folder on my desktop. Uh, I'm gonna name it uh, let's say GraphQL and uh, Mongo. So yeah, now I can drag this folder on the top of half my VS code and after that we can proceed with the further things I guess. So uh, you can use command plus J to open the terminal or uh, control plus back if you are on Windows and after that uh, let me quickly resize this thing so in order to show you properly guys. So yeah, uh, this is it. Uh, now we'll start with the entire fresh new project uh, where I'm gonna use node.js by the way uh, you can use anything by the way python uh, which your language you prefer to use for graphql it's completely fine uh, but uh, the, if you if you are using apollo server so there are lots of uh, boilerplate code is already given over there on their official site so I have this page open here already so what you have to do you just need to search for uh, let's say node.js apollo apollo graphql okay so like the way you can search and you will get the link for uh, node.js let's say node.js apollo graphql uh, like that and you will get this uh, quick start guides and onwards you can follow by the way so let me see which link uh, i have opened here which is yeah this one uh which package to use okay so this is available for fastify koa all the boilerplate code is available there's a core uh, code okay and you can use this packages as well for apollo server express and all so we'll follow uh i'm gonna grab this entire code okay so we don't need to write that much of code and we'll configure it with the uh, babel uh, so i'm gonna start with npm quickly not yarn uh then npm install first we'll set the dev environment uh, which is babel i used to pronounce it like uh, and uh, then babel core babel node and add babel with set we need env and node more so uh, why i'm doing this because to support the babel uh, so this is a single line of uh, single line that uh, we need in order to support the import statements okay uh, so simply hit enter and now we can proceed with uh, further things the last step is remaining to create babel rc uh, so babel rc where we'll declare which preset we are using preset uh, for babel so here i'll say that uh, uh, presets i'm using is i've just used uh, babel uh, preset env so th that's it i guess nothing else is required now we can directly write a uh, uh, normal app.js where i'm gonna use a console.log uh, and to just need to start the server i'll say hello world uh, this is it and in package.json i'll say start command is my node bond like this hyphen hyphen e x e c and i'll say babel node index.js not index app.js so like the way i can use it okay so you can see and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna close this up i'm gonna install the required dependency for uh, connecting mongodb and all the graphql related stuff will install now so npm install a uh, graph ql which is required by the way after that we need mongoose in order to connect with mongodb after that we need apollo so those uh, this this is given already over here apollo server express apollo server core express and graphql so i'm gonna grab this completely because i need this all the dependencies okay i just need one more mongodb that's it oh uh, no sorry uh so these are the dependencies that we need okay according to the docs okay so now i need mongodb uh, in order to connect with mongodb and the last one is to import graphql files because i really like to create a dot graphql extension so for that we need a kind of different import mechanism we need to implement so uh, for that what you can do you can use one uh, dependency 
uh, that I have already implemented. I have already implemented one of my project, uh, which is GraphQL import files. Okay, so I'll say GraphQL import files like that. Simply install these dependencies and we are good to go. Nothing else is required. And now the uh, simplest uh, way to get started with is to write a server dot js file and grab this entire code from here to here. Okay. So uh, they have made uh, the boilerplate in such a way that you just need to uh, use this in your one of the file and we are gonna we can call this function from anywhere like from here as well. So the name of the function is uh, start Apollo server. So start Apollo server where uh, we need two things. Uh, first uh, type diffs and another one is resolvers. Okay, so that's it. Now we need to write this type diff and resolvers. But before that, we need to do something. Uh, we are going to connect to MongoDB. So for that, I'm gonna create a file which is a DB. Inside that, I'm gonna create a connection dot js. And here we are going to say import mongos from mongos. Then uh, mongos dot I don't need this thing. Mongos dot connect. Okay. Then uh, URL parser is true. Uh, use modified use index is true. I don't want that much of this. Uh, mongos dot connect and I don't need that much of code. Just simply MongoDB. MongoDB. This one. That's it. I'll say uh, now we need a connection. We need uh, to check the error, of course. And after that, we need to check the if this is successfully uh, connected. Then we'll say, yeah, this is connected. And here we go. This is it. And we can proceed with the further things, I guess. Now we can create a models like the way we used to create uh, for MongoDB. So I'll say user.model, which is user.js, where I, I'm going to write const user is equal to uh for that what we'll do we'll simply create a new user uh i'll say mongoose dot model and inside that model i'll say user here in user name email password admin not admin password is uh, required okay instead of password we'll say phone number is better i guess but it's fine and this is my new mongoose dot schema so i'll say uh, new mongoose dot schema okay and here we go so like the way we can now uh, proceed and uh, here i'll say export default export default uh, user okay so user so yeah this is it this is all we need to do you can implement the validation stuff and all you can implement over here but for now this is it i guess for the simplest uh, code i'm gonna use this thing now uh, i'll proceed with the further things like uh, we have a type diffs so i'm gonna create a new folder with uh, this type diff over here and uh, i'm gonna create resolvers one here where uh, we'll implement the resolver where we'll have a user.js file in uh, both of them uh, here and here as well dot js and where we'll implement the further code uh, for uh, graphql as well so for graphql what we can do is uh, we can create a inside type dips actually uh, here i'll say user dot rename graphql not js so uh, let me show you guys wh why we use this uh, graphql because we can define the type over here so i'll say type user and user type will be id colon string okay then uh, we'll be having name by id string because uh, it is uh, mongodb uh, we have email we have password so like the way this is the type of user then uh, type definitions uh, we are writing here after that we need a query okay query uh, in order to uh, write the methods where we can get the data through which so uh, type query where uh, you will be having one user where you need to pass the id so i'll 
i'll say gate user will be more better okay so like the way and after that we need a mutation so uh, for create user update user and delete user we'll write this mutations okay so like the way uh, we don't need to do anything else so yeah this is this is uh, all we need to do and we can proceed with uh, our resolvers okay so for that uh, uh, we have created folder resolver and uh, first we need uh, uh, two things over there because uh, it's going to have lots of things like user address and lots of models uh, we are going to use here so i'll uh, create another file which is going to be index over here index.js and where i'm gonna write uh, uh, normal uh, the common code i will say the const user query is equal to query colon and uh, here i'm gonna import the thing okay so i'll create a separate uh user query uh that is going to be part of uh user js okay and here i'm gonna create a mutation where uh, it's going to be part of mutation will which will belong to the same of uh, user.js and here we'll export default user query so like the way uh, there's a common code that we are going to use and this user query we are going to import uh, in the main file uh, here okay so uh, for now we can now proceed with uh, for the user.js and the user.js where we are going to implement the actual code okay so here i'll start with the const user query okay and uh, here it will be an object where we will write the uh, gate user gate user and after that uh, it will be a normal uh, user dot find one this user model that we have created that we need to input here okay so here i'll say import user from this then i'll need gate uh, users okay so where we'll find all the things okay so this is it after that uh, we'll create a uh, user mutation uh, where inside that user mutation will be having create user uh, with normal code uh, user dot create where we'll get name email password from argument uh, then we'll be having uh, update user okay so find one by id uh, the validation stuff and middleware stuff we can perform later or uh, you can perform your own okay so delete user will also remain the same find one by uh find, find one and delete and find one and update okay so these three things are the part of mutation and uh, here we go so this is this is all we need to do and uh, after that we just need to export this thing so almost we are done now we can export this thing here so i'll say export here is right user query and comma user mutation so that's it uh, that's all we need to do even though we don't need to write this thing i guess because uh, we are already using this so i'll say change all occurrences and just remove it no need to write this thing uh i'm not sure if we are getting args args that we are using so uh, argument is fine but this part is not needed let me try this out change all occurrences and here we go so like the way now uh, we can do this thing so because from argument we are getting something but user that is going to be part of model so yeah this is it and this is uh, what we have to do and now the main file is uh, our app.js where uh, the magic happens okay here so here first we need to import the database okay so import uh, db from uh, db okay so uh, inside db we have connection actually so i'll say connection uh, so after that we can proceed uh, with the further code so a uh, graphql dot schema we don't have so what we have we have load files first we will need a uh, load file 
so load file is uh, going to be part of uh, not utils graphql import files okay so uh this will help us to get that dot graphql thing and after that we'll say resolvers will need resolvers from resolvers okay like that because we have an index file over there and we will say const type devs so that type devs will come from this schema.graphql that we have created user.graphql over there okay so this will be part of this and then we'll start uh, apollo server so this is uh, what we have to do now one thing is remaining i forgot to do one thing is we need to start mongodb if you are using docker then it's really very easy so we just need to create docker post file yaml and here we go so for that uh, the version will be 3.8 i'm going to use uh, services uh, where i'm going to define db and inside the db the image will be mongo and inside that ports we need to define uh, which will be 27017 which is a default port and here as well 27017 and uh, volumes you can define to persist the data so every time when container will restart uh, you won't lose your data so that's it and the simple command is to start uh, mongodb is to write sudo docker compose up fn fn build in background for d detach mode and remove our fun if we have something previously stored okay so after that uh, if i'm using sudo then i need to write the password so uh remove orphan is there docker compose is there everything is fine it should work configuration file version services tv if I'm, i can't uh, find the suitable configuration file directory let me see uh, i have made a kind of spelling mistake or something like that no the docker compose should be part of the root directory so like the way and now it should work okay so uh yeah i it, it will take time to grab the image but uh, i already have the image that's why it's running already over here so that extension that i have got uh, from this place so you can grab this from there uh, so this is running fine now let's find the errors so i'll say in npm start and we'll get the errors i guess so user query is not defined uh user query is not defined so in the app.js we have we said user query somewhere so i'm not sure where so let's go there okay this user query and here also inside okay i need to import this thing so to import this thing i just need to write import user query and user mutation user mutation is not where is uh, okay let's go there and let's check now what's the mistake that we have made and inside resolvers okay here we go no such file or directory user.graphql it's completely fine graphql is not a file so it's another error that we got uh so it should be part of it should be part of type types okay fine so dot slash resolvers okay fine so get users defined in resolver but not in schema okay fine now let's go to the resolvers where we have get users inside here get user this one we need to define this thing in schema as well okay so schema in the sense uh, this graphql okay so here we are using this get user so i have uh, used it already over here i'm not sure why this is not working though so let's read this carefully oh sorry it's a get users okay 
so this gate users uh, should be here as well so instead of that i need to write this okay so like this so uh, now we'll get something else and let me restart this thing quickly uh, hopefully we are connected we are connected okay so to database as well let me see what's the message that we have used in the database so it's we are connected yeah uh, the message is correct seems like now we just need to open localhost colon 4000 slash graphql so let me try this one and yeah here we go so we are ready with this thing uh, so let me try to create something so there's a mutation example query and uh, yeah this is creating uh, now i'll say update the user so for that i'll say update user okay so update user and where we need to pass the id as well uh, that we just uh, created so here i'll say the id is this that we just created and i just need to remove this thing let me update this one so i need to make some changes over here so mahesh kariya and mahesh ke kariya so let's try this one and uh, yeah this is uh, working so in return you can get this thing over here uh, now let's use query so in query we'll simply write the gate user okay in gate user and here i'm going to pass id okay id will be the same like this this one yeah this one now here i'll say i need in return name i need email this is it okay and run this thing so our name and email we are getting over here so let me resize this thing and after that i'll say get users get users and here we go we need all the names only so yeah we have one user only so one name we got and like the way and now the last one is to delete something so for that we have mutation okay so i'll say delete user with this thing and in return i want something so delete user with this thing let's try this out yeah it's got deleted now if I go here and if I write query, example query, where I write uh, get users with email, I'll see nothing is there. So yeah, this is it uh, for this tutorial, I guess. So thank you so much all of you guys for being with me, supporting me all the time. It's been a pleasure to be here. Please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side. Definitely I'll make it for you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed and you can use this thanks button as well. So uh, in order to even one dollar is enough, uh, it will help us to grow the channel. So thank you so much once again. Ta-da. Bye-bye.